enjoying a gorgeous cup of cranberry juice at the moment. Now we are currently in the third week of August. So I have three denim jean outfits to share with you. I put together some cutie outfits for the transitional season and I thought three pairs of denim in the third week of August. Let's do it. The first pair of jeans that I'm deciding to style are these high-waisted baggy flare jeans. They are distressed, they're super slouchy, and they're also a light wash. So in the fact that they are a little bit baggier, I thought, you know, it might be kind of cool to pair this with a baggy graphic t-shirt. I went through my lot of graphic t-shirts and I have this super sweet crystal fairy top that has this element of light blue crystals and she's holding this pretty little crystal ball. The light color blue is why I decided to choose this in particular. I thought it paired really well with the light distressed jean. Whenever I'm wearing these slouchier jeans, I feel super inclined to wear my mushroom top slides. I call them mushroom top slides. They just look like gnome shoes to me. <laughs> I just thought this looked really cute. Of course, as I'm wearing my little fairy top, I'm pairing this whole outfit with an Alfonse Mucha tote bag. It's a canvas bag. It has these really beautiful colors into it. Definitely plays into the whimsical fairy vibe that I'm going for in this outfit. Who doesn't love a cool random fairy? Next outfit is a classic pair of 90s denim. They're super high-waisted, really tight fitted around the waist. With this pair of denim, I put together this tight fitted tank top that has this really cool embossed rose situation. It is almost like this spandex material, so it fits and forms the body really well. It's extremely breathable, which is why I like it. Wearing heavy denim during a transitional season can kind of be a bit suffocating. It's just that perfect balance of a nice baggy pant with a nice fitted top. And it's a classic color. Black is one of my favorite colors to wear. To accessorize, I have this really cool sterling silver and black belt with this really dope buckle around. It's almost like that antique western style which i love even though this pair of jeans you don't really need a belt per se i just thought it added another element to the outfit that livened up the mood you know layers on the onion it it really does make a difference for an outfit i put my hair up in a half up half down and i love these beaded hair clips it's a hair stick and you weave this little hair plate on top so then it stays in place. They're super elegant and adds a bit of luxe and chicness to an outfit, an otherwise quite simple outfit. It's just blue denim and a black tank top, but I love to add certain elements of beauty, if you will. I don't know. And due to this really cute beaded hair piece, I found this really cool clutch that is actually from my grandma's wardrobe many, many moons ago. I have hung on to it for a really long time. And it kind of pulls out the elements that are entailed in this outfit. It's the little pieces about this outfit that I really like. With this outfit, I thought it would look really cute with some Doc Martens. However, if it is a little bit chilly, I have these cute ankle boots that have the slightest square top to it. These are the perfect kind of boots to wear with a nice sturdy pair of denim jeans. It's a really good old fashioned 90s fit, I think. <laughs> this next outfit is a little bit on the bolder side. It's all cream colored denim. I'm a little bit proud of this outfit due to the fact that it's light denim, so it still plays into this nice end of summer look that we're going for. It really plays into the autumn due to the fact that it has late summer sunflower blooms on it, and it's all denim. You know, I think wearing all denim can be a bit risque sometimes. I was afraid that it would look a little tacky, but I think because it all makes sense with the color palette, it looks like a whole set in itself. I have this really cool 
satchel bag that has light brown leathering as the strap. It's also a cream color base, so I think it looks really great with this outfit. I'm wearing my moccasins with this one because I'm playing all the brown colors and tones. This is a very perfect color palette for the transitional season. Sunflowers really are some of the very last flowers that we get to see before the autumn really hits. They're almost bigger and more beautiful towards the end of summer than they are in the beginning of summer. And so this is why I love this outfit so much. That was three outfits for the third week of August. <laughs> Perhaps maybe um, you have some denim jeans that you want to style. Which one was your favorite? <laughs> Let me know if you're interested at all. Regardless, thank you for hanging out. This wall, so this wall, I actually picked up some artwork to put onto it. So maybe the next time I see you, this wall will have some cool artwork to look at instead of just this bare wall. Not that there's anything wrong with it, but it is such a bare space. I, I kind of want to play with the background a little bit more, so. That's what I'll be doing after this video. I'm going to be framing some cool art pieces to hang up on the wall. So next time you see me, there will be some really cool things to look at back here. Anyways, cheers to you. Cheers to a wonderful day and night, wherever you are. Until next time. My favorite outfit out of this would be the black tank top with the beaded clutch. I think that it looks super cute. <laughs> this is something I would wear every single day, honestly. It's just so basic, so simple, but still super chic in all the best ways possible.